Welcome to Rootstem Gaming guys, um, we've got a bit of a special game going on today, it's a 40k game, 8th edition, um, but we're playing it in Zoe Mortalis, not something new, we've played in Zoe Mortalis before, but we're playing a bit like a Space Hulk game, so there's actually going to be additional rules to this, so we're not playing with beta rules, but we are going to be playing with additional rules <laughs> that we have made up for the game. We're actually playing open war, so the deployment zone that we've got is this one. Uh, Grange is player A, so he's going to be set up on that side of the table, whereas I will be set up on this side. And the objectives are take and hold. Um, so we've got three objectives, one in the centre, that we have to try and capture. Do we get a point per turn for holding point on to them? Point per turn for holding on to them. And then in the end of the game, when the game ends on turn five, we get three victory points instead. So basically you hold on to them, you accumulate points, and then right at the end, you can try and go for big. We've also got a twist of restoratives, so we can actually select a unit at the beginning of our turn, and we're allowed to recover them. It's quite easy, quite simple so far, but we're going to have something very special. We've got doors on this one. Each door is going to be toughness 7, strength, uh, 3 plus armour, and 4 wounds. But if you walk up to the door and through it... So basically just measure across it, if you're infantry, then you automatically open it. But, if you stop within an inch of it, you can also close it as well. And same for both sides. So you're probably interested in to know what we're going to be doing. So let's take it to some armies. Right, this is Granger's Gene Stealer Colt. It's back on the channel. There's no Colt. Sorry. It's just Gene Stealers. It's just Colt though, isn't it? It's a Colt of Gene Stealers. <laughs> So yeah, he does use the Tyranny Codex because the Gene Stealers are cheaper than that. And counts troop choices. What are you rocking today, sir? Gene Stealers, lots of... Oh, lots right, of okay. So it's a, just a battalion. <laughs> yeah. So two HQs. Yeah. Uh, this chap will be my Warlord. Yeah. Uh, warlord trait is the Lethal Miasma. Right. Uh, which is anything within one inch at the end of a turn. On yeah. a four up, uh, suffer some off wounds. No problem. And then the Maul Claws of... Tharax as his uh, relic. Radio. I'm uh, just in the book. I can't remember exactly ah, what it does. It should. If people want to look at it, I'll put up here what it is, and then people just look at it themselves. Yeah. Uh, and then we have five units of Gene Stealers, four units of 13, and one <laughs> unit of 12. This time I'm not taking any toxin sacks, so they're just bare bones. Bare bones. Mm. Right, that's not a problem. So he's saving some points. This is 1,500 points worth of nids. Right in. You've taken 1,500 Yeah, points. I've taken 1,500 I've already taken 1,000. Now, as if by magic, reserves appear. Yes. So what have you got, Grade? Uh, it's exactly the same as last time, but uh, as opposed for uh, five units of 13 and one of 12, I've now got one unit of 20 and four units of 19 <laughs> gene stealers. And another. And an extra brutal. I'm guessing you're going to make him your leader now because he looks different to these two. There's no, no, he's got green things. Oh, has he got green things? Green he's got things. white. Sorry, yeah. sorry. I couldn't I couldn't see that there. Yeah. Uh, I can now. Now we're looking. Yeah. Right. So, but, yeah, it's exactly the same World Lottery and uh, Relic and Psychic Right, power. okay. Psychic so powers now are... we've corrected that. It's <laughs> <laughs> ah. seamless, Fran, through the magic of television. Yeah, yeah. Able to remove that <laughs> horrific first link <laughs> where I was playing completely different points. <laughs> well... Ah. To be honest, that would have been a really good excuse if you lost again. <laughs> I was playing 500 points less than you. To be honest, I don't need any excuses when it comes to losing with this army. Uh, it's true so far. He's had two games, one on my channel, one not on my channel, even though I told him not to do that, but never mind. And he lost both. Not lost, tabled within three turns. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. That's a... Those are a lot bigger than I thought. Right, okay, let's take you to the Crimson Fist Space Marines. 1,500 points. I might just suddenly add it and make it 2,000. Oh, <laughs> Crimson Fist Space Marines. So, I'm just going to... I'm not going to... I've got a battalion and one of those elite ones. Yep, that'll do. Uh, giving me a total of nine command points. I'm just going to run through it. So, basically, I've got a bit of a command squad running here. We've got a captain with a power fist. He's going to have the relic, the... Fist of Vengeance, I think it's called, for the Crimsons. Um, a Lieutenant, Primaris Lieutenant, with his bolt pistol power sword. Primaris uh, uh, Apothecary. A Primaris, uh, yeah, Ancient, with the bolt rifle. And, of course, we've got a standard 
old school librarian. Woohoo! There's one of my HQ units. Well, they're not HQs, the uh, M2, of course, are elites. M3 are HQs, taking up the slots required. We've got one unit of intercessors, two units of intercessors. That's it for intercessors there. <laughs> two squads of scouts, uh, one with uh, bolters and heavy bolter, the other one with close combat weapons, power fist, and heavy bolter. A unit of Reavers, which don't have the grav shoots because we're playing in his own Mortalis, what you're going to drop in by. We've also got a 10 man unit of Stern Guard, which has been split into two combat squads. The sergeant has a power fist, and there's two heavy bolters in that five man team. A unit of intercessors, yes, he broke off, and I have no super glue. Um, there's going to be some rules for those, which we'll describe in a minute, because of course they've got a fly keyword. And we've got another unit of Stern Guard as well. These are my old school Stern Guard unit. They've been broken in half. Two five man combat squads. The sergeant has a combi grav and a power fist. There is a melter gun. There's two combi flamers. In this side, we've got a combi melter and two combi plants, which I don't really like anymore, which is why you don't tend to see them on the channel. But they're pretty good for points, fillers. And then we've got the venerable dreadnought, which is a, a repaint of a very, one of the first miniatures I've possibly ever bought. Bajon the Fat Handed. Repainted into a Vendred for my, and unfortunately I lost his arm, but he's been repainted and put into my Crimson Fist army. He suits it well. I've tried to get rid of a wolf, but it doesn't, just doesn't do it, so I just left it on there. There'll be a backstory for him somewhere. Right, let's take you back to the table. Let you guys know anything with the fly keyword, if it moves more than half of its movement, it's basically, has, it can take a mortal wound on a D6 roll of one. So every single person in the squad Every single model that moves more than half their range, which at the moment is just going to be my intercessors. So if they move more than five inches, because intercessors have got a movement of ten, then they roll a d6. And on a one, the unit takes, any ones that are rolled, the unit takes mortal wounds. We've also got something special for the Gene Stealer. I keep saying Gene Stealer Cult. It's not, it's because it's lots of Gene Stealers. But Gene Stealer Tyranid Army. Hmm. They're going to be set up using hidden markers. So I've dug these bad boys out. These are second, oh. These are original second edition ones where you used to be able to hide and you were detected. And these are from, I think it's from a white dwarf years ago that it came for Necromunda. Because on the side of these, you've got the broken marker. So these are gonna be the hidden counters. We were gonna use the Gene Steeler Cult ones, but I thought, no, I'm gonna use my some of my old, because this feels a bit more old school second edition. We're gonna use some old school second edition. So basically what's going to happen is Grange on his half of the table will place the markers. We're going to set up normally because we're using open plates. This is going to be unit per unit. He's going to set up normally using the hidden counters. And then once he's set up, in the game turn itself, if he chooses to at the beginning of his turn, he can reveal that counter. When he reveals that counter, he puts a unit of his choice down. If... I move into a position where I suddenly get to see line of sight to this uh, counter. It's a random unit that it has to put down. So, I mean, if you want to, on turn one, it could reveal everything. But that might be quite boring, to be honest with you, if you did that. Um, but, I mean, some closed doors. That's why we're using the doors. There's closed areas where we can't see through, so it can skulk, it can lurk. And bearing in mind... Yep, it's fine charging forward and killing everything, but these objective markers are worth more at the end of the game, when taken, than it is for killing units. And it doesn't want the same situation as it did before, where it charges forward and everyone gets slaughtered. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, right, we'll get set up and bring you into who's going to get the first turn. So, deployment has gone down. These guys are in. They're in. Yeah, in some buildings. Basically, it's just got me intercessors, me librarian, one half of the. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> Seamless. Seamless, I tell you. <laughs> Stern Guard, that's the one. More Stern Guard, more scouts. There's going to be a hell of a lot of Hellfire shells being fired, I tell you. I think that's what majority of my points are going to be going on. We've got the Dread over this side. Now, the Dreadnought is limited. It can only go through double wide door areas. So, it can't go through these little doors. Meaning, 
but they can't go into this zone so I'm gonna to have to use my Marines to be able to get in there if I get in there I've got a funny feeling Granger's just gonna come up me bro yeah Gene Steelers, Gene Steelers. <laughs> he's not gonna use any form of tactics and hold back maybe I don't know I think he's gonna walk straight into my gun line and then complain that his Gene Steeler arm is no good <laughs> why won't we survive because <laughs> there's a lot of shots here Grinch. Um, not quite sure actually, maybe, oh, I've deployed now, should have put them a bit further forward. Damn it. Right, okay then. Time. Grange. Got some markers here. And here. And here. And here. I think, where's the other one? Is it around that? Just down there. Just down there, oh yes. Right. It's gonna be an interesting one. Grange got down first. So he rolls a d6, adds one. Are you gonna be able to get the first turn here, sir? Four. Turns into a five. Turns into a five. I have got a four. Can I see it? Dun, 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 dun. Squeaky bum, squeaky bum. Um, squeaky actually, squeaky bum, I'm, bum, I'm, bum. I'm tempted to let you have first turn. Ah, oh, well, couldn't see it anyway. But, uh, well. But yeah, Grange does get a choice, so he could, if he wanted to, ha let me have first turn. You know what, Fran? He's going to let me have first turn. Yeah, go. Okay, let's go into Space Marines. Space Marines, turn one. Right, so not a lot's happened in my turn because I'm simply waiting for him to come to me. Big brave Space Marines. Well, I need to wait for the charge to come. So these are just rearranged a little bit. I did my psychic phase, managed to cast Veil of Time on those guys, so they'll count as charging if I do get charged this turn. Uh, again, just a bit of a reshuffle. A couple of guys did try and shoot at the door, didn't do anything. And again, a bit of a reshuffle down there. And that's it. So effectively, we're now going to be going into Granger's turn one. Grange has revealed quite a few units. How many units are still hidden? Uh, three of them. Three yes. of them. Um, I'm not quite sure where your hidden markers are, because is it just them three there? Uh, yeah, there's one, still got two, one and three. And then, what? <laughs> he tried to do his advance rolls, and oh. then I don't think he rolled higher than two. No. No. <laughs> In fact, one of them, this unit here, rolled a two. And he command pointed it to a one. Yeah. So. yeah, so like when it says, is it swift and deadly? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I shouldn't, shouldn't laugh, but that's quite. I've only really did drop a figure, unfortunately, boys and girls, and one of the figures has broken an arm. It's four of them, there's four of them, they're fine. It's, yeah, it'd be all right. <laughs> they can lose one. Right, uh, he's got no shooting, so we'll do the charges, we'll do the overwatch off camera. And we'll bring you into some fighting. We've had some charges that's managed to get off. Uh, he did lose a guy in this unit due to Overwatch. They've got into the scouts. And these guys have ploughed round. Now we've already done the three inch movement up. And we've said for consolidation and moving in purposes. It's basically to get to the unit. So I'm not having somebody go. Yeah well it's within three inches there. And then being forced to sort of move up to a wall. That's not sensible. You would actually try and get round. Now. The thing is. Is that. Yes, this board means that I'm not going to get a lot of shooting in, but it does mean that Grange is not going to get a lot of guys into attack. We've just seen, normally, that would be a hell of a lot of attacks, but within an inch of an inch, you can only get seven guys in. So it's four attacks apiece, and I think you need two to hit, don't two you? Two to sir? hit, because I'm within the uh, bubble of the yep. Broodlord. Few ones there. Right. Force to wound, re rolling ones because Grange is Gorgon. So, scoot them ones up. And Any sixes are deadly. Right. So separate your sixes then, sir. He's got ten normal wounds and he's got five that I can't save against. Ten normal. And I need fours on these. It's not looking good, this, ladies and gents. That would be one, two, three. Four, five dead space marines. I do need one of these guys to be alive. Command point. So I am going to actually use a command point, which will take me. Granger's already used two so far, so he's down to six. This will actually take me down to eight. Because, like I say, that's one, two, three, four, five dead marines. And I've only got five in the squad. I need them to hold. 
And he's still dead. Damn. There are more these guys in, and again, only six have managed to be able to actually get into the combat. So, six attacks for a piece, needing two. It's quite a lot. And then force the wound, he gets to reroll his ones. Right. Right. So, he's got three sixes, which would mean three of the scouts would be completely dead. And then. Quite a lot there, that's, five. that's going to be ten again, I think. Ten, it's another uh, ten wounds. Three, six, ten of them, yeah, mate. Yeah. Coming up! Now, the scouts, they are a goner. It's consolidated up, not within an inch of a combat. So, yeah, basically, it's the end of Granger's turn one. So, at the end of Granger's turn one, he's managed to kill an intercessor unit and a scout squad, which is pretty good. He only lost one gene stealer to Overwatch. But, it's now retaliation time. Now time for the space space marines to get <laughs> into this. Uh, they even may come through that door. Um, but my dreadnought, my big heavy hitters there at the other side. These guys might get mullered. We'll see. It's going to be space marines turn two. Right. Bit of a readjustment. Wiggle, wiggle. These guys are coming out. I know I'm possibly abandoning my objective, but they're coming out. They're going to try and charge something. They are Reavers, after all. They've got three attacks apiece, so I might as well. Um, we did forget that my banner actually was within six inch of all the models from the scouts, so I did roll them. We got three that attack back, and we killed two Steelers. So, so far, incorrectly, at the end of that turn, Grange lost three guys. Uh, Points-wise, the story is just for characters. Oh. Uh, Points-wise, he's got two VPs, so... Grange will be currently winning on victory points. Now, two flamers then from this gap, from this unit, with all the bolters and all the rest of the gubbins are going into them. First, hit seven times. Needing fours, re-rolling ones, because I'm within six inch of the lieutenant. That's four wounds, good sir, so far. He's gonna do them now. And that's three gone. Then I've got the rest of the bolters and everything else to do. Just done the rest of the shooting for that unit with the bolters. Grange has failed nine wounds, so nine of these guys are going down. So, tactically wise, Granger's got rid of the closest unit. So, these are going to open fire. They are within 15. So, we're going to get uh, two shots apiece. I'm going to use Masterful Marksmanship, which is for one command point. Takes me down to six. That basically means that I'm plusing one to my wounding roll. So, instead of wounding on threes, I'm going to be wounding. Instead of wounding on fours, I'm going to be wounding on threes. And I'm also using Bolter Drill for a command point, which takes me down to five. Meaning that I get uh, any sixes. I can roll extra shots. And I got three sixes, but I get to re-roll ones. That becomes another six. So that's another four shots with these guys. Wow. So, wow, they've done a hell of a lot of shooting. Marksmen's needing freeze to wound, re-rolling ones. Whoa! Them Crimson Fists knew about that charge. They don't like their next generation stars to be killed. That's 10 wounds, good sir, from 10 bolt shots. That's pretty good. Heading up, jink left, jink right. And save wow. one. That's nine gone. That's a unit. Ooh. Six, seven, eight. eight. Sorry, seven. Yes, it is. That's not good. That I expected more from Mr. Grange there, but uh, I'll be honest. His dice rolling for saves has been atrocious. I think that's two in about. Yes. 15. Two saves in 15 wounds. He's just. Yeah. Well, got to keep going. Yeah. Uh, let's go to these guys. Just open fire with these guys. I'll fire a bolt pistol from the librarian as well. You missed. So, <laughs> and the Reavers that can see have opened fire into this squad. Uh, he's lost about four. Guys. Oh, four from that unit, yes. Yeah, I did spend a command point for a Hellfire shell for the heavy bolters, and then it got one wound. In fact, out of all of them five, the only thing that did any damage was the Hellfire shell. So, oh well, never mind. Um, what can they do? Nothing! And I'm going to be abandoning an objective here, but we are going to be going into my charge phase. So let's fight. Charging wise, these two have charged in. They were going to charge something, but there's nothing to charge now. Yeah, well, you see what's coming in. Stuff. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> uh, it's when these lads get in, I think I'm going to suffer um so i'm going to go with the reavers first this many attacks that is poor wound 
Oh, that's not good. Four wounds. Well, with the way I'm saving, that's four wounds. Well, gone. that's true. <laughs> that is true. Oh, Oi! Hey. Camera goes on and suddenly he's got two saves. <laughs> <laughs> so he only loses two stealers out of this. Are you I interrupting? Am. Yeah, I yeah, I thought he would. So, two right, let's points. sort this out then. So consolidated in. He's managed to get seven guys. He's got to keep one for coherency purposes. He's managed to get seven guys in. He's still within six of his... Yeah, Broodlord. I'll get all this right eventually. So, these guys are basically seven attacks against my Marines there. It's not good. Hitting on twos. Ow. Any sixes put to one side. This is not good. Scoop up these sixes, and then scoop up anything on a four plus. Oh Christ! Sixes and twelve normal saves of a minus one. Oh, they're dead, Jim. They're all dead. Oh, they're dead, Dave, Jim. Whichever one you want to actually, which sci-fi deity you want to pray to. He's got six guys going against the Reavers. Him again. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have charged. Oh dear. It's all that lovely old stuff. Right then, sir. Right. <laughs> Roll to wound. Oh, Christ. That's sixes. No, uh, re-rolling ones. I'm going to hurt. Got four sixes, which minus four. Can't save. Eight normal. Needing fours. Ooh. Right. Done that well. That means I lose two and a half marines. So that's not too bad from the Reavers there. They managed to stick into it. So he's forced for command points out of his hand, but he has killed the Stern Guard. Not what I wanted. I wanted them to maybe get some attacks. I've got two attacks apiece. Pretty good. Um, these guys lost two and a half, so they are kind of stuck. He's in a particular way. Now, he's going to go on to Granger's turn two. He's got three more units to reveal. When he reveals them, I think over there might be in for a world of hurt. But, he did manage to get a unit down here, and they did get murderized. But he's still got one backed up here. If he gets a good roll, he could try and get into a lot of these guys. Thankfully, the banner's there. to be able to get some attacks back. And there's quite a few characters within three inches. So, going to be multiple, possibly multiple charges from Grange. Right, let's get into Gene Steeler's turn two. So, this unit's still engaged in combat. His Broodlord's come round because it's a character. Not the closest target, so I'm not going to be able to hit him yet. Um, more Steelers are coming in. I'm, I'm penned in. I'm penned into these particular areas. Big unit of Steelers coming in again with another Broodlord. I'm going to suffer in that section, I think. Right then, sir. So, yeah. <laughs> we're going to do some psychic powers because we are within psychic ranges. So, which psychic powers are you going to do first? Right, we're going to drop from him yep. the horror onto your. Which is your stern guard? That's the stern guard. Well, both stern guard, actually. Which, one's one, which one was the one that did all the horrible, horrible they, things? Them with the bolters. Right, we're going to yep. go for the horrible, horrible ones. Then. Okay, then, no problem, sir. Seven. Uh, gets off with a six, so yes, we're yep. over. and I will attempt to nullify that. Nope, because I need to beat your score. So they are horrified. They are horrified. Catalyst onto the unit in front of him. Yep, because I'm a five up, feel no pain. I think that's I think that's passed as well. That's passed. Yeah, it's a six to get that off. So. And then what's the last boy doing over uh, here? He is going to psychic scream. Oop. Oh, do I smite? I'd smite. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to smite. So I'm going to smite the unit in front of me. Yep. Yep. With a six. D3 mortal. Ah! I'll lose a marine and a half. Right, so that's an amazing shooting phase there, Grange. Thank you. Thank anyway, you. A lot of lots damage. Of, lots of, a lot of damage. Lots of damage there. Lots of damage from shoot, shoot. Basically, it's going to be charging. Yeah. So, again, we like to do Overwatch off camera because it's quicker and easier than recording it all. And uh, we're going to come back into the fight. So Grange just charge across the line. Very successful here, I was surprised. We barely got any Overwatch hits, a couple of flamer wounds, and that's it. And then over there, he's gone into the Dreadnought and the Intercessors. Didn't have enough space to be able to get through to the Stern Guard, but if he kills the Dread, then he will probably will be able to get through to the Stern Guard. Now, we're gonna go, he's gonna go with this unit first. There's four guys that's attacking these, four guys that's attacking these, and two guys that's attacking them. 
and I couldn't get these guys in because of course my own guys are stopping movement. This is Zoe Mortalis for you. It, it blocks stuff, yes. Big squads are great, but when you can only get seven guys in out of 20, yeah, it's, it's very it's hindering. So the first four against these? Yep. These have been horrified. I'm not quite counting on what that does. Uh, it's something to do with shooting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Needing two to hit, because it's still within six. It's congered up. Congered up. <laughs> Ones. That's gonna work. These are only stern guard, he's only one wound apiece, so that's, so that's gonna be six wounds. Two gone and six wounds, fella. Needing fours, 50 50. Why is it when I roll those on the camera? It just ends up bad. Next four against the other unit of stern guard, he's done well so far, managed to get rid of a whole one of them. Ah. Right. It's a few more ones there this time. Five misses. There we go. Again, needing the threes. Needing Sorry, one. fours. Rerolling ones. Oh, that's bad. That's four sixes. And then another three. No more sense, mate. 50 50. I need three, four. Oh, come on. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <sighs> Bad dice. Finally, the two going against the scouts. Two fails. No wounds! Oh! Everyone's right, now, don't get me wrong. Before we finish, we do know that the banner's within six. It's just easier to get it all out the way. And then we're going to fight back now with the banner. Interrupting. These guys are going to be going next. We've got seven guys that's going into the Dreadnought. They're all the ones that's within an inch. And there's going to be four, because we've done the consolidation, going into the Primaris Marines over there. I don't think they're going to last much longer. So the seven against the Dread. Another one there. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oof. And He's then... going to need fives and sixes. Just to re-roll his ones. Yep. Oh, no, oh, none of those converted. A couple of fives there. Oh, it's quite a lot. Quite a lot. Not bad, not bad. Yep, there we go. And that's five, five pluses. Sorry, four pluses. So the dreadnought suffers four wounds. He ignores them on sixes, because he's a Ven. And he ignores one, so he suffers three. Can't remember how many wounds here. So the dreadnought's down to five. Right, next attack against the Primaris Marines. Four guys coming in. Oh, these Steelers are hitting hard. A bit different in the zone when you can't actually draw a line of sight to them, you see. Leading fours. Are you rolling me ones? Yeah, there's another one Ooh. there. Ooh, converted three of those. So, let's get rid of those. So so you've got two, two sixes. Two straight through and, and then another six. six. No wounds. So in actual fact, he only kills two of the Primaris Marines. Brood next. Yep, Brood Lord next. All hit. All hit. This is bad. This is very, very bad. He needs freeze to wound with rerolls for his rending claws. No sixes. This is a good sign for me. So they're just at minus three. They're just at, just at minus three. Yeah, just, just them. Minus three. Needing sixes to save. Not one. So they're all dead. <laughs> Because <laughs> even, even if he rolls one for every single one of them, they're all dead. Right, so these guys are attacking. There's nine of them. So, Grange. Oh, crap. Dear me. We've rolled the wounds. <laughs> the amount of sixes he's got is meant that these guys are dead. All right, consolidation-wise, he can. Got closer to the librarian, if he wishes. Yes. Okay. Um, no. He's going to stop where we are. They're going to stop where we are. Because they're cocky bastards. Right. <laughs> I'm losing men, I'm losing guys, they're, they're being whittled down, but that was his first pick. Time for the scouts to fight back, time for the dreadnought to fight back. I've just gone with the scouts, they've actually managed to kill four of the stealers. Now, I've got three command points left. The last unit to fight is going to be the dread. The dread has got four attacks, and he's also got wisdom of the ancients with him, so he needs two to hit with rerolls. I'm going to use three points mm. to honour the chapter, if I'm allowed to. No, I can't. Shit. 
My brain has gone funny there. I was going to honour a chapter with my dread, but you can only do it to an inf Oh, infantry. Is he an infantry? We are not. <laughs> Two to wound. Ah, oh, well, that, that would have been. <laughs> Sorry. Well, yeah. there you go. Four. Saved two of them. Oh, every time. Anybody that comes across me that needs five up to save always seems to roll at least more than statistically average of five pluses. I think Captain Dreadnought might stay in there and just keep punching. Yeah. Right, so before my turn begins, because we are going to be going into my turn, I'm going to do restoratives and get oh. a wound back on my uh, Dread. So he's now back up to six. Oh. Right. Not looking good. The Marines are down. We've been pushed back. We uh, It's going to be a victory point. Two victory points because he's still got a unit down here. To Grange. Taking him up to four. No, I mean, that's your command points. That's your command points. Yeah. Taking him up to four. And I'm still currently on one. So I need to make a big push. I'm going to possibly be looking at trying to chew through some of these guys. Make a big push for my turn. So we're going to go to Marines turn three. Movement done. Uh, just characters moving around to try and get some shots off into these. He's lost two wounds to Perils of the Warp. We've gone into my psychic phase, tried to do null zone, Perils, tried to do smite, and Grange stopped it. So I'm having a really good psychic phase. <laughs> oh, you need to take that off. Oh, I'll probably put that back on at the beginning of the shooting phase if I'm honest. Those guys, uh, the Dreadnought fell back. The proper carry is there just in case. They're going up to try and kill that big boy. And uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're ready to hit somebody with some bolters. Scouts have stayed in. I'm not moving them out. So, beginning of the shooting phase. One command point. Using me down to two. So for the shooting phase, he has Wisdom of the Ancients. So he's going to be able to uh, give everyone around him within six inch rerolls to ones. Mm, yes. Right, let's get some shooting done. Special issue bolter into these guys within 12. Two shots, needing twos, reroll ones. Fours to wound, reroll ones for the lieutenant, one wound. Down. Down. I'm going to rinse repeat with a stalker pattern bolt rifle, two hits, reroll ones, two wounds from that one, and another two are down, and then a bolt pistol, depending on where he's taking it from actually. Oh dear. Oh, I still think, yeah. Still within 12. Yep. Bolt pistol from lieutenant hits, doesn't wound. Four. Hmm? No, 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 I'm good. <laughs> Four pistols there. Keeps within an inch. Two hits. Not within six of the lieutenant. So just one wound from the pistols on that unit. Takes out one of those guys. And then over here. Over here, basically the uh, the pla one of the plasma guns and one of the melter guns is closer to his broodlord. So they are going to fire at him. The rest of them are firing into the gene stealers. Now, the others, the other one has a combi plasma. So I'm going to fire the bolter from that. The bolter is going to be in a Mechanicus dice, which needs fours. So that one hits. So they're all hit. Needing fours against a wound. So three wounds so far. Might as well stay there for a minute, Green. The plasma gun that's part of the combi bolter, not overcharging. Two hits. Needing threes. Another wound, so that will be four wounds onto that gene stealer squad from them. And you take out three of them, and then we've got a rapid fire, rapid fire plasma on overcharging. He's not firing his bolter though, and a melter gun. Oh my god! Well, plasma's gone, freeze to wound. Oh, <laughs> damn it! Block is from the bolters. The bolters are also going to use the bolter drill, so I'm going to be down to one command point. So any sixes will explode into extra shots. I've got Wisdom of the Ancients on, so I can re-roll the ones. Needing freeze with the bolters into the Gene Stealers. Any ones, re-roll. And then I've got one, two, four sixes. Just roll them four dice in addition. Wow. Ouch. Some good shooting there, Tex. Needing freeze. Strength five for the start for the bolt storm or whatever they're called. But I don't re-roll any of these, so that's gonna be four, five. 
many? That's going to be 10, sir. 10 saves. Aging's left, Aging's right. He mm. loses now. Eight. Eight of them. <sighs> That's a lot of that squad gone down. It's a hell of a lot of that squad gone down. That looks like now there's only four of those guys left. I'm managing to chew through stuff, but it's chewing back. Those are going to charge in. I think those are going to charge in if I can as well. And those lads over there are going to charge in. So what to go with first? I've got to charge off here. I've got to charge off here. I'm going to charge off there. I'm still nowhere near any objectives. So he's going to run into some more objectives. I'm going to try and chew through him. And then rush forward before the end of the game. There's only five turns to be his open play game. So I've got two turns to be able to do it. To try and get through whatever else he's still got left in reserve. Which is another big blob squad. To try and get some objectives. Unless I just sit on them two. Um, but then he's going to get free for that one. Right, so who am I going to go with first? I've got to go with a charging unit first. And I think it's going to go with... I'm going to go with the stern guard over there. So the sergeant's no longer alive out of that squad because it's only a combat unit. Two attacks apiece. Yeah, within six of the dread. But the dread no longer has Wisdom of the Ancients, actually, because it comes at its own per phase. Healing force. Three wounds. Statistically average. Should kill at least two. Kill two. How are you interrupting? Um, last two command points. Do I want to interrupt? Uh, yes, I think I'm going to. Okay, who are you going to go and interrupt with? These guys here. Them guys there. Grange now has no command points left. He's got to do his consolidation. So his last two command points have gone. He's going to have these three go against the captain. These three, because he's had to conger it up, are going to go against the lieutenant. And they've only got three attacks apiece because they're, uh, they're down to nine men. Alright then. Go on then, sir. So, other these against the uh, lieutenant? Yep. Hit on twos. Didn't yep. really help. Need to wound on fours. And we re rolling that one. So that's one wound for definite. And then three. Another three wounds. Force to save. And another one goes through. I think he's got three left. And then against the captain. Hitting on two still. Needing four. Four um, wounds, four all wounds. needing four pluses because it's iron halo. And the captain takes two. So he's down to three wounds as well. So that's it for Granger's uh, interrupt. Guys attacking now. Just going to go down the board now. Wow, they've got a lot of hits. These are from the guys that can fly. Another four wounds on the two stealers left out of there. Oh my god, one of them's still alive! Oh, Grange, how can you roll that many good <laughs> dice? It's insane! Right, okay, let's go crack on with here. Lieutenant, four attacks, needing twos. Needing fours. Rerolling his ones. Three wounds with a power sword. Doesn't really matter. Three wounds with a power sword. Takes out two. I have to start congling him back here, Paul. Oh no, I know what he's going to do. <laughs> so, consolidating. Uh, finish my move within the closest unit. Four attacks from the captain. All hit, because he's got the special fist. Two's to wound. Three wounds. Another one bites the dust. He's taking the scouts out of the combat. Four attacks from the Primaris. Needing threes. Rerolling ones. Needing fours. Rerolling ones. No. Two more. Number two. Number oh. two go down, though. Is it bad? And he's not. Yeah, number two go down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not going to consolidate. He's going to stay there. Does mean that my scouts are not going to be able to get into that. Then we've got the librarian. Three attacks from him. Oh, one hit. Freeze to wound with his four stave. Oh my, this librarian's done nothing down this flank at all. 
Right, fighting back, good sir. Jackson at the stern guard. I don't think he's within six of his no, guys. He's, he's going to be freeze. No, no still it. We roll another one. one. Oh, for God's sake. So I lose two stern guard. Typical. Oh, look. Six of the vicious alien little swines. Right, Grinch. Need twos. Oh. Yeah, you can hold on to some dice if you want, that's fine, mate. It's okay. Right, A couple misses there. Oh, I'm not actually focused on this. Oh. And then we need fours. There's three sixes which I cannot save. Uh, he's dead. Da -da 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 -da. They've consolidated. Again, I've scored no victory points because I cannot get past this screen after screen. Because they're not caught in their tyrant, I think that he's immune to psychology being within 12 inch of somebody. That's effectively a brood lord. Well, he is a brood lord. So I don't think I can force him to fall back. No. 12 inch. He's a bit of a shocker. Those guys who are not in combat, that would have been nice to be able to finish these guys off. It's a bit of a shame I couldn't uh, go with them before he started taking the casualties away. So that was, that was very tactical, that Grange. Very well done. You need to be very tactical in this particular game. Right, go on then, sir. It's your turn free. Okay, so Granger's moved forward. He's <laughs> yeah, and yeah. that guy there has run down to try and hurt that dread. So then, sir, psychic powers, because you haven't got a shooting face. Oh, he's revealed these as well. These have just been revealed. Spreading out to contaminate that area there. I don't think my marines are going to last much longer. To say this is a completely different style of game to what happened when we played against the guard, where you are, you are murdering me. Yeah, all it takes is complete and utter line of sight blocking terrain. terrain yeah. And these gene stealers are awesome, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Just have to remove the, the ability to get shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Just remove that ability and we're all good. Right, starting with uh, purple. Purple brood. He's going to horrify Okay. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's gonna then. Uh, yeah. Sm Ooh, smite our catalyst. Smite our catalyst. At this point, I'm gonna go for smite. I think my captain will be the closest that, yeah. visible. So. Bit, uh, bit disastrous. Get low. Get low. Damn it. We're through. Damage. Two, Two. more. I've forgotten what his warlord trait is. Oh, peeps at home. Um. Yeah, I've made a boob. <laughs> made a big boob. Uh, Crimson Fists, when they're outnumbered, if there's twice as many models as there is for them, they'll plus one to hit. So, I ain't been doing that. I've completely forgot about it, if I'm perfectly honest. So, I've just been playing sp proper vanilla Space Marines with no ability. And I forgot that he's supposed to have Iron Resolve. So, he's got six wounds and he ignores wounds on a six. So, we've just... Basically, he'd lost two previously, and he's just lost another two now. So we just rolled, and he got three sixes. So he's only lost one wound. So he's got five wounds left. Tiny dice. Right, okay. <laughs> Christ. Can't believe I've done that. Um, so that's him. Him now. He's going to say Psychic screen. Yeah. I think he's done it. that. What does um, that do? Uh, it's just D3 muscle wounds. Okay. For another two on the Dread. Oh, it'll be on the Dread. Dread ignores on a six. No. So he's going to be down at two, four now. There we go. Great. Right. Great. Into my shooting phase. Oh, yay. Lots of shooting, lots of pistols. Oh, charging. So this schmoz has just happened. He didn't lose any guys on the way in. And he's charged over there. He did lose three wounds, though. That dreadnought laying in some hurt before he actually got in there to mm. charge. I still have two command points left. I can still interrupt. So, who are you going to go with first, Grange? You're going to go with him yeah, first, I'm gonna right, yo. You go with him first, then, sir. Take out some Dreadnoughtage. Dreadnoughtage. Six attacks, need twos. Yes. So you're going against the Dread... All of them are going against the Dread. All of them are going to take out the yeah. Dreadnought. So... Reroll failed wounds. Is it? Which, yeah, it's five to wound him, because I'm yeah. your strength six, and I'm toughness se um, seven. So, four wounds. So, four wounds. He's called D3 damage, and it's a minus of three. So he's a pretty, pretty harmful. I saved one. So, three D3 damage. Four wounds left. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. No, it's wounds on a six. Need at least two sixes. Ooh, Not no. one. He explodes. explodes. Yeah. He does oh, explode! Oh, oh. He explodes! <laughs> I checked. He explodes within three inch. So the Gene Stealer, which we had to move some models to make sure he was still within three, has gone. He's died. Stern Guard. Only two guys left out of air. You might as well be in the enemy. Roll it, sir. Stern Guard lose two. So the Stern Guard are also dead. Oh. The Primaris um, Fly Dudes. D3 of them. One. One wound. That's not bad. The Primaris... A proper carry. One, One wound. wound. Right, okay. This is where you kill a brood. Lord. I'm hoping so. Ooh. Two wounds on the brood. Two wounds on the brood, Lord. So he's down to one, he's in combat with the fly dudes. Right, so the dreadnought's dead and he's caused a little bit of damage around the area. It's a bit of a shame. Right, these guys. Interrupting, Fran. I'm not interrupting, sir. In that case, then. A big lad. Big lad's gonna go first. He's gonna hit everything. He's gonna go Digital for lieutenant. the lieutenant. Lieutenant. One insert. All hit. All hit. We roll in here. Um, the three does wound. Oh, the three wounds, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now, he's only got three wounds left. That is a minus of six and three damage. So he is dead. Does he fight? He does fight. So he's going to go against the Gene Steelers that he was already in combat with. Reroll once. Forced a wound. Yep. So he also takes a Gene Stealer out at the same time. So the Lieutenant is gone. Right, so six of them are going to go against the uh, Ancient, and then the other five are going to go against the Scouts. This does all happen simultaneous. So. I will still be able to fight back with the scouts if, of course, the um, this guy has been removed. Whereas that, I know, yeah, you know what I mean. Because it's that unit, you pick that unit, you fight with that weapon, and it's all armed the same weapon. Go on then, sir, which right. one is got first then? Is this, this all is against you, the ancient? This is your ancient. Have you still got more than 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You have, mm. you swine. <laughs> <laughs> Plus one to hit. Oh dear. There we go. Ancient is on full wounds, so he's going to have five. Reroll any ones. Any ones, reroll. How many sixes have we got so far? Just two. for two. Just for two. So that's three sixes. Three sixes, that means he's three wounds down. Can't save them. And not many. Five wounds. So that's five wounds. I can minus one. So, I need, I can only fail one. That would actually be really annoying for you if I command pointed that, wouldn't it? No, it didn't yeah. bother me, friend. Don't Go bother on. me. No! <laughs> oh, I should have just let him die and then only in death. And then he would have been able to fight anyway. You fart. These are against the scouts. Don't get me wrong. Even though we've done the attack against him first, he's technically still alive until the end of this. So they will... And we did actually do the attack for the guy dying because he was within six into himself. So he did get one attack. But he failed to do anything. Right, so you need, uh, what's that, sixes to hit? Yeah. Sixes, yeah. <laughs> Still enough sixes. Still enough sixes. <laughs> They've hit? Yeah. Oh, man. Maybe I should have just kept you, told you that it were a thousand points and then you would have, uh, so that'll be four scouts dead. And then, another five wounds, fella. Five wounds, in five. And all the scouts are dead. Right, okay. I've got four there, one there. So they were, were within six beforehand. So the Power Fist and two others get to fight before they perish. But it's only one attack. Two hits. And that's the Fist and that's normal. So that's two wounds on the Steelers before they go down. And that's another one dead. A bit of consolidation after losing all my scouts. I'm down to four models. One. Oh yeah, down to five. Sorry. <laughs> right, go on and sir. Right, there's three guys that three can guys attack. Into your uh, board. Yeah. New fours. That's three of them. Three of them. Doesn't matter about the sixes because it's a four pin one. 
fails two. No, I'm on sixes. No, so now he actually is down to three wounds remaining. But because that's the end of Granger's turn, I'm now going to fight back and punch some folk. Right. That's him with Foul Fist. He's attacking that squad that he's been attacking previous. Two wounds. The lieutenant's gone. Yep. One. So he only manages to kill one this time. Those guys there. Seven attacks are now raining in on that thing. Problem is, I need fives to wound it. I got one wound. You've got your four up armor save. No command point. Oh, oh, God. Oh. He survives, Frank. He did. He did survive. And he's surrounded. He can't break away from combat. It's not looking good. It's looking very grim. Let's see what the Marines can do in their turn. But I actually think. Granger scored another two VPs, taking him up to six versus one. Five models left. I'm starting to think it's game over. Right, I'm going to be apothecary as absor absorber, absorber bolt pistol into his ward. I need a three. Yep, I need four to wound. He's wounded. It's a minus one, so you need your five. Yay! Puffer Kerry just goes, oh! Boom! Oh, hang on, should we do, uh, should we do a bend? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Ben, if you're watching this. Sorry. Skip straight into the assault phase. After he's managed to kill him, this, these guys here have charged in. One of their thunderous charge, or whatever, it's crushing charge, has actually killed one of the gene stealers. So now we're going to attack. Freeze to hit. Me rolling the ones. Still forced to wound, but these guys are tough as five. So when they uh, two wounds, so when he fights them back against them, hopefully, just kill another two gene stealers, and then the power fist wielding madman is going to go for the rest of that unit. There's only two left. Let's hit them all. It's wounded three times. Remember, there's only two left. So, for God's <laughs> sake. We take that one because, oh, unless you oh, want no, to. No, no, no. Yeah. That unit's there, so he's only one left. Is it that's actually? One. That's one. Oh yeah, because he moved. Sorry, I'm thinking sorry. of something different. No, no, so I actually, he's gone. Left. No, that's gone. He is gone. So I've got a bit of a distance there. Not within an inch of the broods, so the brood lord can't fight me. They can. So yours, Grange, you got to consolidate. Two guys that's fighting the captain. The rest of them are going against the other marines. So two against the captain. Hit. Yeah. Not that one. Needing forced wound. One. By the way, restoratives, I forgot to mention, we actually healed that captain back up to full strength, so he might be able to take everybody on by himself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so one wound, and he's saved. Hmm. And then Perfect. these, you've got one, two, three, four, there's five guys against the others. Yep. But you need twos and then fives to wound them. So a couple of misses. A couple of misses good. there. Always good. Damn it. We roll the ones. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, damn it. Quite a few, uh, a couple of sixes there. So you need fives and sixes. So that's three that are going straight through. And two armor. And two armor. So one of them's going to die. Two of them's going to die. So two go down. So after looking, I've got three models left. Again, no victory points. Should never have abandoned that one. I should have just stayed in there and let you come through the door piecemeal. Yeah. And then murder them as they came through that door. At the end of Granger's turn, in fact, all Granger needs to do is to go with this lad and just go, yeah, I'll stand here. And effectively, he would have all three objectives. So he would go up to nine VPs at the end of his turn to my one. It's been a bit of a drumming. <laughs> um, have you enjoyed that one, Grange? Hey, yeah, I... I think I've found a format of a game that a gene, a gene stealer Abby can actually perform. Well, we were um, just, we did have, uh, have a bit of lunch earlier. We're discussing this. I am thinking about collecting 1,500 points of nothing but Terminators. And we're going to go Terminators, proper Space Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button for more. If you go to rootstem.co.uk, just pay a lonely, small, tiny, fiddly £3 a month. You can help us support the channel and get access to all of my battle reports and painting videos, sometimes up to five weeks early, because we do record these in chunks. But thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.